Welcome to Dimensions Online Test Test Platform. Today we're going to discuss English Paper 30. Now, alacrity, alacrity, the meaning of this word is brisk and uh, cheerful readiness or willingness or you can say eagerness. Okay? Now, you need to find the word which is synonymous to this. Briskness, option A says the same, briskness. So that is the answer. So in the remaining words, you can say frankness means the quality of being open and honest. So which one is correct? Option A. Next, antonyms. You need to find the word which is opposite in meaning now. Genuine. Genuine means authentic, real, original. Okay. Uh, unnatural, which is uh, uh, opposite to, I mean, unnatural, what you can say, not natural. Synthetic. Synthetic means... Uh, you can say synthesized so which is prepared again it is not natural artificial artificial means again that is a uh, not natural bogus bogus means fake so which one is a correct though uh, though all the words are uh, quite related with each other or uh, quite synonymous with each other still bogus is the correct one right genuine genuine means authentic bogus means fake option d is correct next one Choose the correctly spelt word. Zealot. Zealot means a person, uh, for example, who is fanatical and uncompromising with respect to his religious or political views is known as zealot. So that is the word uh, which is spelt correctly. Remaining all the words is, are not spelt correctly. So what, what is the meaning of this word? It's about a person who is quite uncompromising uh, and uh, what you can say, uh, is uh, quite uncompromising, uncompromising about his religious views or uh, political views. Okay, or you can say a fanatic. Okay, fanatical. Now, one word substitutions. A remedy for all diseases. Panacea. Panacea is the remedy for all the diseases. So, which means cure all. Okay. Now, let's look at the meanings of the other words as well. Narcotics means a drug which induces uh, drowsiness. Or a drug which relieves pain is known as narcotic. Antiseptic. Antiseptic is disinfectant. Tonic. Uh, tonic is a medicinal substance that is taken to uh, for a feeling of uh, uh, illness, right? Or for a feeling of to give a feeling of well-being, or to uh, uh, what do you say to suppress the feeling of illness. So a medicinal substance that could be uh, taken inside. So that is known as tonic. Next. A sad song is a dirge. Dirge means allegi. Allegi means a mournful poem or a mournful song which is uh, sa sang at the funeral. Okay. So a mournful song or a piece of music which is used in the mournful uh, situations or piece of sound. You might have heard a sad music runs in the background in the movies. Right. So that is called a allegi. Dirge. Next, ditty. Ditty means it's a short or simple song. Nell, it's the sound of a bell, especially related to death. Lay, lay means it's also a song. I mean, if you consider lay as a noun, okay? Now, the sad song is a dirge. That is the one. A mournful song or a mournful sound, a mournful music. So, all could mean the same. So, option C. Next one. One who knows two languages. One who knows two languages is bilingual. So, lingual, that is related to language. Bilingual, two languages. Now, bigot. Bigot means a person who is intolerant towards other, who is holding a different opinion. For example, there is a person, he, he has certain opinion about a particular thing. And uh, when someone else who is express, uh, expressing a view which is opposite to him then he will be quite intolerant with respect to that so such a person is known as bigot next one bigamy the condition of being married twice brittle means breakable or fragile frail weak so these are the words next one a disease that spreads over a large area over a large area if it uh, distributes over a large area that is known as epidemic okay outbreak you, you could say like the plague outbreak had happened in the uh, past centuries like that you can say. Academic that is quite related to studies. Incorrigible. Incorrigible means not able to be changed or reframed. 
or you can say irreformable irrevocable okay next one invincible invincible means unassailable or unconquerable so undefeatable so these are the words which are synonymous to that invincible now you need to find the meaning of the idioms given below uh, look here worlds apart worlds apart means greatly separated by different uh, attitudes or behaviors okay uh, so which one is the correct one option b be widely separated so you can use this in such a way both of them are worlds apart i don't know how they decided to get married how they come to came to a decision to get married so both of them are quite different let it be uh, let someone be a uh, what do you say morning riser other one is a night owl so likewise they are quite different to each other in such an instance you use worlds apart means completely different okay or uh, with their attitude or behavior in such instance you use this next one set tongues wagging set tongues wagging means to cause people to start gossiping so if you encourage someone to cause uh, start gossiping okay is known as a uh, can be uh, used in that instance can be used in that instance set tongues wagging now option b encourage gossip so that's it that's the right one next one child's play child's play means ch how the child's play will be very easy to do right so when something is very easy to do it can be called as a child's play so look at the options an easy task is yes, exactly correct an easy task next one lie low lie low means to keep quiet and not to be noticed so if you are kept quiet and uh, you are you go unnoticed so that is known as a lie low hide and wait option c is correct next you need to find the erroneous part in the given sentences the first one at last he was married with a poor girl it's not with a poor girl at last he was married to a poor girl or you can say he married a poor girl so but it was like he was married so then with will not be a correct one he was married uh, to a poor girl is the correct one next your flat is superior than that of mine in all respects your flat is superior i is told you n number of times that superior or inferior always followed by two similarly senior junior so their ranks whichever the ranks are there so the, those ranks will always be followed by the uh, preposition two next one you are really senior than me in age and experience again senior to me in age and experience so option b is erroneous if you stand with me in a hour of need i will never forget you if you stand with me it's not stand with me rather you need to use if you stand by me so with the preposition with should be replaced by the preposition by so stand by means if you are there in my hard times so that's what it means stand by means not uh, literally uh, don't consider the literal meaning of it that's a phrasal verb means if you support me in my hard times that's what it means so option a is erroneous now sentence improvement you need to improve the sentence among the ones which are given in the options if you if uh, they don't match then no requirement uh, for the uh, for improving the sentence no requirement of improving the improving the sentence now there is plenty of time to catch the train yes it is perfectly correct there is a plenty of time to catch the train whereas i can say like uh, so i like to uh get to the station in plenty of time so get, like to get to get to the station if he is if it is station i cannot say i would uh, i like to catch to the station so i cannot say that right so i like to get to the station in a plenty of time i can use in that way whereas i uh, there is a plenty of time to catch the train to catch is uh, perfectly right so no improvement required next he insisted on he was innocent he insisted not on he insisted that he was innocent insisted that he was innocent right option b is right practically every part of the banana tree is used by man it is not every part practically each part so each part of the banana tree is used by by man so option a is correct next one the police dashed the mob mob means a group of people who are protesting 
in silence or who are protesting with violence whatever it is so police what did they do scattered disbanded drove dispersed so if you find if you look at these words all are uh, i mean uh, with respect to their meanings all are uh, uh, possessing the equal meaning but the contextual difference is there for example scattered so scattered when can i use the word scattered whenever the light falls on the uh, prism it's scattered into seven different colors so in such an instance i use scattered next disbanded disbanded means for example let us consider a project a team is working on a project in a software company okay so uh, when the project is finished what they will do they will uh, break up i mean the team will break up and they go uh, in their corresponding ways and go to a new project whichever is available so you can say that the team which was working on the project for past two years was uh, scheduled to disband this december so in such an instant you can use disband so where the people literally break and uh, go in the different ways next one drove so drove means uh, uh, his ideas draw, drive me crazy is I, so in such instance i will use a drive now dispersed dispersed how can i say for example uh, you might have heard this word very well uh, whenever a meeting has happened in your school and your teacher asks you to disperse to your classrooms means go to your respective or corresponding classrooms right so that's what it means now what can be the word that can use uh, that can be used here the police dispersed the mob it's not scattered it's not disbanded or it's not a drove so the police dispersed the mob is the correct one next one he is too dash to be deceived easily deceived means getting cheated being cheated so he is too dash to be deceived easily so he can't be deceived easily so for that he need to be intelligent right he is too intelligent to be deceived easily so option c is right next one i will come tomorrow dash i hear to the dash now i will come tomorrow yes i will come tomorrow and what i could uh, fill the blank i will come tomorrow i hear to the dash i mean i will come tomorrow unless i hear to the contrary contrary means opposite in nature so you want to uh, go to some place for a specific reason if you if you are going for a specific purpose and it is entirely opposite if something is exactly happening opposite to that what you are what you want to be there for so then what is the use of going there right so that's what uh, he is trying to say i will come tomorrow unless i hear to the contrary so option a is correct next one the passage is about about winston churchill so winston churchill was a democrat he was also a romantic he ha the romantic here is not uh, the same here the romantic here is uh, expressing his feelings or uh, what you can say is uh, 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 expressing whatever the deeds he do with certain logic or reason so such a word is romantic here so it's not the actual romantic that you think about next one he had returned to the gold standard for instance because he cherished for romantic reasons so he was prized for his uh, logical uh, reasons okay next uh, britain's status as a great financial power he had opposed limited self government for india because he cherished for equally romantic reasons britain's imperial history imperial means majestic history or royal history okay however it was as a democrat that he was disgusted disgusted means revolted or repulsive in nature okay outrageous outrageous disgusted by the rise of totalitarian system totalitarian means authoritarian system or you can say tyrannical system tyrannical means uh, uh, the one which is uh, ruled by an oppressive ruler a tyrant okay or dictatorial system so that's what totalitarian system means in europe by espousing espousing means adopting or supporting anti nazi policies you know nazism which is related to hitler uh, hitler so anti nazi policies in his wilderness next in his wilderness years so between 1933 and 1939 he ensured that when the moment of final confrontation confrontation means conflict or clash okay uh, 
Between Britain and Hitler came in 1940. He stood out as the uh, one man in whom the nation could place its trust because he was uh, uh, opposite in nature to uh, Nazism. So that's why the whole nation could place his, its trust in him. He had decreed, decreed means commanded or ruled or demanded. The pre-war appeasement, what does appeasement mean? Peacemaking or some soothing agreement. Appeasement policies of the conservative leaders Balvin and Chamberlain. When Chamberlain lost the confidence of parliament, Churchill was installed as a prime minister. Next. Romantic in this context means, uh, I already told you, expressing feelings with respect to uh, feeling rather than rationality. So, it's just a feeling. It's not uh, related to logic or uh, reasons, but uh, with respect to feeling. Okay, expressing the feelings. Next one. Imperial means relating to an empire. Option C. The nation. Yeah, they trusted Churchill, right? So option A. From 1933 to 39, Churchill <coughs> spoke as spoke against the Nazis. Correct. Option B. So with this. We finish the paper 30. In the next session, we look at the paper 31. Thank you. Have a great day.